Alrighty, this video is about enlargement with GeoGebra. So what we're going to do first is we're actually going to make a polygon because that seems like a reasonable thing to enlarge. And I'm going to make it have a nice number of points. And just for fun, for the data projector, I'm right clicking. I'm going to call it my object. Okay, and I'm going to make it blue and line thickness can be nice and fat, it can be quite nicely filled in. So that's all cool. Now if I click on here, this one, I just make sure that I'm moving. So this one means I can just move these points so that we can see them nicely. Nice image, object. Now I'm going to have a point and pop that point there and I'm going to make sure nothing's selected because often that helps. So I just clicked on the white away from everything. Now I'm going to choose dilate. Dilate an object that's selected around a point. Um, sorry center of rotation. Now the number, oh at the moment I'm going to put 0.5, however what you can do is get a slider, stick the slider here and we'll call that size and that will be okay. Um, we might want to make it a little bit longer, you don't have to fiddle with that and um, I'm not going to fix it but that's just getting a bit technical. So here's my slider because I didn't fix it, it means I can pick up my slider and move it around. And what I'm going to do is right click and make it a little bit fatter. So I'm going to I might have it purple and I might have it fat. Okay, mucking about a bit there. Right, so now on my image, I'm going to right click object properties. Uh, Oh, it hasn't completely worked for me there. So what I'm going to do is actually delete my image. Okay, delete. And I'll grab all those points and I'm going to get rid of them, delete. And I'm going to go through my dilation thing again. So dilate, take my object and click on that. And this time I'm going to go size. I was trying to find that in the object properties but didn't. Now you don't think anything's happened because the size is 1. But now I can move my size and you can see what's happening. So if I leave that at 0.5, I might want to move point G to get a bit of an idea of what's happening. Alright, so again we can move these points so it's a little bit prettier and we can talk about the what the dash means that's your image so f has now become f dash now my image i might want to make a different color okay so there we go it's done file save as uh, Geodiv for the geometry and it's enlargement um, 2 because I already had one with enlargement. There you go.